to get to a developing story. Trump Organization CFO Alan Weisselberg pleaded not guilty to more than a dozen felony counts, including a scheme to defraud, conspiracy, grand larceny, and falsifying business records. CBS 4's Bradley Blackburn has the latest from outside court in Lower Manhattan. Alan Weisselberg, the Trump Organization's chief financial officer, pleaded not guilty to criminal charges for allegedly failing to pay taxes on fringe benefits from the company. A former executive vice president of the Trump Organization believes Weisselberg did not act alone. Nobody does anything major without Trump's knowledge and usually approval. But in a statement, former President Trump said his company's actions were, quote, standard practice and in no way a crime. Some legal experts believe New York prosecutors are leaning on Weisselberg, hoping he will turn on Mr. Trump. But the two men have a long history together. The former taxi driver has operated behind the scenes for decades, not only as CFO, but also as the Trump family's personal bookkeeper. Replacing George this week is my chief financial officer, Alan Weisselberg. And you think George is tough? Wait till you see Alan. Weisselberg's estranged former daughter-in-law is working with New York prosecutors. She turned over several boxes of documents to investigators. The Trump Organization claims prosecutors are using Weisselberg as a pawn to harm the former president. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.